Hello everyone, I'm starting the vlog. A little bit different today. We are actually out and about in Yorkville um, because we're gonna get my pants hemmed. I'll show you them when I get there. But essentially, in last vlog, I will have said that I was needing to get a pair of Paul and Cooper trousers um, hemmed because nothing ever fits me, I'm too short. So I'm going to my tailor in Yorkville and he is the absolute best. He's literally open till like 10 o'clock at night on like most days, which is insane. Um, he's also really funny. But um, yeah, that's where we're going right now. And then I think afterwards we might go pick up some stuff for dinner. I'm not sure what we're having for dinner yet, but I just, honestly, I try to find like super easy recipes and I make them in my um, like little Le Creuset Dutch oven. So easy, you get like one pot dirty, super easy to clean, lifesaver. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. so quick and easy he's gonna have them to me in like a few days uh, but now we are gonna stop at their Carlos bakery shop because they just put in a new little Carlos bakery in Yorkville it's like so exciting I remember when I was young I used to watch Carlos bakery on like TLC it's like my favorite thing oh my god literally the best thing anyways we're gonna grab some little desserts for for later tonight Um, and now I'm just about to make some Aperol spritzes for mom and I. So I've got my Aperol here. Aperol spritzes are my favorite drink to make. I just feel like they're so refreshing, not too sweet, not too bitter. It is just like the perfect mixture. Um, and then I like to buy these little like mini me um, little Prosecco's at the LCBO, like our liquor store. Um, they're perfect because I typically get like two three drinks out of these depending on depending on how much prosecco i put in it um but it's great because it's like a, just a couple servings for myself and it's also got like a twisty cap so i can twist it on and twist it off and i'm done with it which is great but anyways i'm gonna make these and then i'm gonna start cooking dinner because it's already late and anyways yeah Now the reason I love making Aperols from scratch is because you can buy like pre-made Aperol mix um, but I like being able to control how much Aperol and sparkling water and Prosecco goes in my Aperol spritz because like for example I like mine a little bit sweeter meaning a little bit more Prosecco um, and a little bit more water whereas my boyfriend prefers almost all um, Aperol and Prosecco so it's just a nice way to be able to customize it how you like but anyways I'm gonna go take these or one of them to my mother. Now I've actually started adding a little bit of like a recipe book in my agenda um, and this is actually one that I've made now like 
four times, I think, this recipe. It's called Creamy Lemon Orzo. Now, I'm not going to take credit for this. I actually did discover this recipe on TikTok, but I've since tweaked it, made it my own, and um, kind of wrote it down in the way that I like doing it, and it's so, so easy. So this is my quick here writing of the recipe. All you really need is orzo, onion, um, some peas. Um, now, the original recipe called for cream cheese. I don't like cream cheese, or I don't love it, rather. So I like to actually use either Parmesan or Pecorino cheese, depending on which one I have. Um, but that option is still there. Um, and then you just add some lemon zest, which I don't think I have today, but that's not a big deal. Dried basil, salt, pepper, chili flakes, super, super easy. And I like to add some broccoli to this recipe as well. So easy, and it takes like 20, 30 minutes max. Um, and then I just wrote all the steps down here. So I'm about to start cooking. So I'm gonna put on a show um, and of course start with the worst part, which is dicing onions, which I always like ball my eyes out while I do. But anyways, let's do it. to get ready for the day i just finished doing my makeup and i went back to using my oh no something's leaking in here um oh no i'll clean up clean that up in a second um no actually i should do it now <laughs> in a second my illuminating base from sisley just spilt all over so sad it's such a good product um Sorry, as I was saying, I went back to using my Sisley Paris uh, foundation or I guess tinted moisturizer because I self tanned today. This is a bit of a darker color and oh my God, so good. I would honestly have to say that my Jones Road, which my camera is currently on and my Sisley foundation are my current two favorites. So, so good. Um, but I am just about to get ready for the day and I wanted to show you the things that I'm wearing today because they're actually new and I'm very excited. So let's start with these jeans are my newest pair and you guys know i'm not a denim person i don't like jeans it's just not my thing <laughs> but a while back you guys will have seen that i purchased a white pair of totem jeans they were like a balloon style i have worn those jeans so much like it's incredible how much i have worn those jeans and i think the reason why i love them is first they have a very unique fit Second, they're very comfortable. I accidentally bought them a size too big and I ended up keeping them just because I really didn't feel like returning them. And I am so glad that I bought a size bigger because they are the most comfortable jeans I own. And I think the reason why I wear them so much is not only do they look good, but they feel good. That is my thing. I just want to be comfortable and be able to eat and drink. Um, so um, after having that white pair, I found myself constantly wanting to wear a pair of dark blue denim and i have this beautiful pair from zara now those are a little snug they're a tighter fit they really just don't give me a lot of room and so i have had these jeans from totem in my far-fetched basket for weeks and i mean weeks now they're not cheap okay four hundred dollars is very expensive for jeans and finally i bit the bullet I bought them and I'm so happy that I did because I've been wearing them non-stop and they are just the best. So I got mine in a size 2730 and they look like this. They are the most beautiful like dark blue denim. Um, they truly, truly are. Oh, I can't wait to show you what these look like on. Truly, truly are so, so beautiful. Now again, I got a 2730. I typically wear a waist. 25 that's usually my my size but again i want a size bigger so good and so glad that i did because it is it's the best so anyways that's the first thing that i've recently purchased i've been wearing non-stop i wanted to tell you guys about it because if you're like me and you're not someone who likes like 
denim, then maybe um, that style of totem jeans could be could be good for you to try. But next, I have something from Lily Silk. Now, I'm not going to show you the rest of my Lily Silk order because that's going to be in a haul, which should be a little bit later. But I really want to wear this sweater today, so I'm going to wear it and unbox it with you. So this is the Lily Silk order. I love Lily Silk cashmere. It is honestly my favorite. Um, so soft. I have so many cashmere pieces from Lily Silk. Now I know they specify in silk, but I really, really think that they excel at their cashmere. So I got this gorgeous. Now I'm kind of wishing, yeah, that's what I thought. Kind of wishing I got a smaller size, but it's this beautiful like V-neck black cashmere sweater. It's got quite a relaxed fit through the the body. Now this is the only reason I'm thinking maybe I should have gone with an extra small. Um, I don't even know if they have extra small. I can't remember now. But anyways, this is a sweater that I got. I just liked the kind of like collar detailing. I thought this with some beautiful jewelry would look really nice. So I think I'm gonna put this on and show you what that looks like on so I can show you <laughs> the jeans as well because they are, they're so good. Anyway, let me get dressed and then I'll show you. with my Sandra Sambac from Hermes. I'd actually really, really love to try more of Hermes beauty. I know I've heard that they have apparently really great like skin tint. You guys know I love skin tints. Um, um, their lipsticks look wonderful, their blushes, their bronzers. So maybe that'll be next on my purchase list. But for now, my fragrance, this fragrance has been <laughs> my go-to. Oh my God. It's so sophisticated. I mean, also like a unisex fragrance and I love it. I'm also going to touch up my lips with my Chanel lipstick. Now, I think some of you missed this in my last vlog, but this is the Chanel Rouge Allure in the shade 212. I will try to link it in the description box for you guys. Um, but again, it's such a beautiful, like deep burgundy color and it's one that you can build up or you can use it more like a little like a lip tint sort of which I love and I actually like to use it almost like a bit of a lip liner and then I'll go in with my Ilia little balm because it's just so nice and that's it it's been my my lip combo recently Oh, I'm also so sorry the lighting in here is terrible. I might go into the living room because it's just I have my ring light on and it's literally like the gloomiest darkest day here. So maybe I'll go out into the living room to show you my new Missouri package. Isn't it crazy? This is how dark it is in here without my ring light. And I know I have the window closed, but it's not that much brighter. So anyways, I think I'm gonna come out here into the living room. Hopefully it's a little bit brighter. That's a bit better. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll come out here and I'll show you what I got from Missouri, came in the mail, so excited. I've come out here because it is just really, really gloomy, honestly, everywhere else in my apartment. It is, I wish I could show you outside, it is so depressing. But anyways, let's open this up. Now, this is actually quite funny because you guys know I wear a lot of Missouri. It's honestly one of my favorite jewelry brands. I have so much love and respect for Missouri. And recently, I was, we were on a walk, me and my boyfriend, and we were literally done work for the day. We were going out to get some dinner, some like ingredients for dinner and like a bottle of wine. And it must have been like seven o'clock or so. And we just were walking, our usual walk to the grocery store. And I get stopped on the street by um, another YouTuber. I think her name is Double Vanilla. And what she does is she stops people um, and asks like what they're wearing and it's funny because she at first she stops me She's like hey like I'm doing a series about like what people wear like on the street in different cities and I'm doing Toronto and I was like well sure and as soon as I say sure she's like oh my god like I know you you're Samantha Guerrero I follow you and I was like oh like, it's so nice to meet you that's so cool so anyway she ended up filming like my outfit and it's funny because the first thing she asked me about is my necklace she's like oh like what about your necklace your jewelry and I was like it's all Missouri um, and she's like, oh, well, like, well, tell us more. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. It just, I found it really funny because literally all my jewelry was Missouri. Obviously, you guys know that the pink ring um, is actually from my dad. So that one's got great sentimental value. And I never take those off. But um, yeah, I just thought it was 
it was funny. Anyways, let's get into this Missouri package. I've got loads and loads of goodies. <laughs> Uh, but before I get into it, I do want to say that this is an integrated paid for partnership with Missouri and as always I'm so happy and proud to work with them um, Honestly, I'm just really excited to show you these new goodies because I will be wearing them today And don't forget that you will be able to receive 10% off your order by shopping through my link So I'll leave that in the description box for you um, I also do have a landing page that has most not all of my jewelry pieces um, But if you ever have questions about specific ones, let me know and I will try and um Link them down below for you. Anyway, let's get into this little Missouri haul because there's so many good pieces. So essentially, Missouri has just launched their collectibles range, which is something that's really exciting. Essentially, they have launched a bunch of new charms, which you can wear not only on your necklaces, but um, on your bracelets. You guys will see that I have my little moon um, charm there. And you can add them to your earrings. You can add them to your necklaces. I think it's such a cool concept. So I got a couple charms and a couple necklaces to show you guys because oh, I'm so in love. The first charm that I got is this one right here. So let me show you too close. So this charm right here is actually inspired by the Greek goddess um, Gaia. So Gaia was the mother of Earth. And this charm is actually supposed to represent and kind of remind us of our sense of self, our individual sense of self amidst the chaos of our crazy world. And I think that really spoke to me. I think it's just always, you know, I've always tried to be so true to myself. And I think when I read that this coin kind of represents and was a reminder of, hey, be you in a crazy world was so, so lovely. And again, it just had this kind of vintage feel to it that you guys know I love. Despite that the charm is a little bit more like vintagey antique, I wanted to bring an element of kind of sleek modern feel and that is why the next thing that i got is actually a matching necklace to my little chain bracelet so this is the new necklace that i got it's a beautiful chain and it's just gonna be beautiful with the new pendant now do not worry that i will be trying these on because i will be actually wearing these today <laughs> but i also picked out a couple other things because one piece of jewelry is never enough from a jury. Now, there are days where I feel like being a little bit more minimal and not quite as bold, and so I got myself a different style of chain. Now, this one is not quite as chunky and bold, but what I really liked was this hoop here where you can attach any of your charms. And as you can see, this one is quite less chunky than this one, and I just, I love the difference that it offered. And so, with this one being a little bit more minimalistic, I wanted to get a charm that was going to play off of that and you guys know I love my pearls. In fact, I'm wearing my little pearl hoops today. I got a beautiful little pearl charm. Now what's cool about this is that you can actually add these on to not only your necklaces but your bracelet. So in fact, if I'm ever not wearing my necklace with my charm, I can actually add this little pearl charm to my little moon charm on my bracelet which i think is so cool so anyways i really really want to wear this one today so i'm going to take off my little missouri diamond necklaces and put this on because i'm so excited all right i have just put on the necklaces and they're so beautiful so these are the two necklaces together and this is the beautiful charm oh so beautiful i absolutely love it and i love these two together in fact i think i'm gonna buy the longer chain this thinner one here i want the longer chain that way it could really stack nicer i think this is they're quite close in length um obviously they still look beautiful but i am in love it feels like so me i feel like there's elements of like you know that vintage feel with the charm but also a little bit of like edgy you know bold woman style i just i love it i'm so obsessed with it. and then for the charm i've actually added the pearl pendant to my little moon i just think it looks so so pretty and it dangles like that how beautiful is that anyways as i mentioned um you guys will be able to receive 10 percent off your majority order by shopping through my link i will be sure to link these down below i will not be taking them off this is what i will be wearing today because i just feel so so beautiful in them but yeah oh you guys don't know how excited i was to not only get these but also show them to you because i feel like so many of you are gonna love them i know i have my classy ladies who like love their diamond necklaces i mean you guys know i always wear my diamond necklaces but i know there are a bunch of you who every so often like me enjoy that bold piece of jewelry that can be worn every single day so yeah I'm so excited. anyways as i clean up here i'm gonna chat with you so for the rest of my day, I'm actually going to go to Yorkdale Mall. Like I said, I think I'm going to go pick up the longer chain. 
because there's a Missouri now at Yorkdale Mall. How exciting. Um, is there anything? No. And uh, what else? I have to pick up some new hard drives. I've actually been having a super tough time with hard drives. Obviously, I do a lot of editing um, for like YouTube and stuff. And the hard drives that we were buying really were just giving us a really, really hard time. So I'm going to get some new hard drives. Um, what else? What else? I also have been struggling because I would love to find a pair of brown leather boots. And for Canada, you know, for a country that like we have fall and winter for such a long time, I find it so difficult to find very beautiful boots. Um, it's just really, really hard. <laughs> and so I'm looking for brown leather boots. I tried on the pair at Hermes and honestly, for the price, I wasn't sold on how they fit and how they looked. Um, I'm not really, I'm happy to spend money, but not if I don't love something. And just those weren't it. I honestly wish that my black Valentino boots would get released in like a brown color. That would be honestly like perfection if my Valentino boots were released in brown. Um, so I think I might go browse to see if there's any boots at all. Um, I feel like I'm just wearing like a lot of like brown and blue and black. That's been like my combination recently and I haven't... I feel like I'm constantly wanting like brown boots and I cannot find any. So anyways, that is kind of the plan for today. Um, Mom also wanted to go to Caudalie today, but I don't think we're going to end up going just because it's super rainy and there's none at the mall. I mean, she can buy it at Sephora, but there's certain things that they don't sell at the Sephora. For example, the little roller that you guys have seen me use, that is actually one that I got. It was gifted to me, but it actually was from the Caudalie Boutique in Yorkville. Um, so, so lovely. I use it every single day, by the way. Um, I find it, I sometimes find I prefer that over the gua sha, just because for the gua sha, I do have to use oil. And um, I sometimes honestly don't enjoy putting oil on my face every morning. Whereas with the roller, the Caudalie one, if I put on a nice thick layer of moisturizer on, that is sufficient to get the roller going on my face. And it's perfect, honestly, I love it. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. Um, and then when I come back, I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get back. I should probably go to the gym. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna do a little bit more work and then we can go shopping to look for some boots. So maybe you guys can help me out in choosing some boots, crossing fingers I find some because been a struggle over here. <laughs> I'm all ready to go. I just put on my beautiful red Karen Millen coat. I'm obsessed with this coat. It's funny because I get a lot of comments being like, oh, like it's just too bright of a color. And I get you. I totally understand because I was always like that. I was always like, oh, like get your blacks, your beiges. But like, I think I have actually worn this coat more than both my black and beige coats this fall season. Just, I don't know. It's such an easy color because I think I wear a lot of blacks and blues and browns and it's just been a breeze to wear. But anyways, uh, we're just about to head out the door to go to Yorktail. I really want to go get this chain in a longer length. So I think I'm going to go pick that up. And brown leather boots. I really need brown leather boots. Um, it's also just really gloomy in here. And honestly, it's kind of depressing. So I want to like go somewhere else for the day. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's go. Oh, I'm also wearing my Lady Dior. Still my number one worn bag. <laughs> did not have the necklace there. They are completely sold out of all the Hermes necklaces, so I'll just have to order it online. Um, yeah. I'm home and all cozied up. I actually haven't changed out of my clothing yet and honestly this is a good sign when you have clothing that is comfortable enough where you don't feel the need to immediately change out of them. 
I feel like you've done a good job. But anyways, I'm just sat here. I have a little bit of a snack and a turmeric hot chocolate from Bloom. I didn't feel like a huge meal today, so I just made a little um, bao. I think it's vegetable or teriyaki, chicken teriyaki. I'm not sure. I forget the flavor of it. Um, but I'm sat here. I'm going to watch a show and just relax for a bit. I also forgot to show you guys the choice that I ended up going with. So I ended up going with this... Um, struck tube i think it's struck tube the struck tube pillow these pillows here i believe were actually from h&m home and then my new zara throw which i absolutely love i'm gonna grab it in a second and get cuddled up with it um but i just wanted to kind of catch you up with how my little trip to the mall went um very unsuccessful they did not have the missouri chain um in the store which was very sad i am also very very torn with the boots from chloe i will put a picture here now I'm looking obviously for a brown leather boot and for some reason that has just been very difficult to find here um, in Toronto. It's, I feel like I saw so many in London, like no wonder everyone in London has like beautiful, you know, boots and accessories because they're all over the place there. Super easy to find here, eh, not so much. Um, so essentially I am a little bit torn about these boots and the reason I'm torn about them is, well obviously one, they're very expensive, but the main reason is I really want to love them and if you watch my vlogs you will recall that last year I purchased a black pair of Fendi boots which I still love, okay, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, unlike my Valentino boots, this is actually going to be the second year that I'm going to be wearing my Valentino boots and I still love them. I still love them. I can see myself wearing them all this year, all next year and that to me is honestly what constitutes a good successful purchase. And I haven't been wanting to wear my Fendi boots as much as my Valentino boots. So that just kind of, I think, points to the fact that perhaps they weren't such a good purchase on my behalf. Like I said, it seems to be like they were a, this is the best that I can find right now. And I mean, honestly, I haven't found a boot that's better than those Fendi ones yet. Um, I'd still love a flat boot. Still haven't found one. Um, and so I don't want to purchase these Chloe boots and have them be another this is the best that I can find right now So honestly while I watch some Netflix tonight I am going to browse a little bit See what boots are on Farfetch and what brands are offering and maybe even check out like my Teresa and Etta Porter because honestly like The stores here just are not carrying like much um, And they do have stuff but like not a lot of boots which is shocking like we are going into fall and winter and there's still like a lot of heels and a lot of sandals and it's it's just it's it's odd it's very odd <laughs> but anyways uh, my bow is gonna get cold so i am going to get cuddled up pick a show to watch i'm not sure what i'm gonna watch but um yeah <laughs> i am all cozied up with my um turmeric hot chocolate here and my cozy blanket and it's feeling oh, this is just the best it is the best when i get to cozy up at home and just enjoy life so I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping, do a little bit of Netflix watching, and enjoy my evening. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I feel like I haven't talked to you all day today. I have been working and editing and filming. I actually filmed a Sephora, what am I filming today? Like a Sephora recommendations for the Sephora sale, which will have already started, but you will be seeing that video up very, very, very soon, I promise. Um, honestly, it was so difficult to narrow down what products to put in that video because I feel like this year I have discovered so many amazing products, so many amazing brands, and yeah, it was very, very hard to honestly like nail down what products to put in that video. But tonight we got invited to go eat at, um, the restaurant is called Jay's Steak Frites, I believe. My hair is being crazy right now. So we essentially got invited to, um, go and eat at Jay's Steak Frites, um, which is a restaurant, a newish restaurant that actually like only serves um, steak and fries and salad, I believe, which is funny. I mean, I don't love, love steak, um, but I'm kind of excited for the like fries and salad. I feel like that's right up my alley. Um, very, very excited for that. So that's where I'm getting ready to go to. I also, guys, I have found a new 
foundation. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I know like no one, this is like not new whatsoever. Um, and I have heard so much. I remember when I worked at Victoria's Secret, um, one of the girls there used to always be like, oh, like it's so expensive, but it's so good. And I, I don't know why I always assumed that this was like a high coverage foundation. Um, it's not. It's actually really, really pretty. It's what I put on my skin today. Honestly, it's very similar to the Sicily foundation. I find that they both sit on my skin um, very, very similarly. I would say the Sicily one is a little bit more um, glowy, but I really, really like this. I went with the shade 4.75, which is a little light because yesterday I self-tanned. Um, but once I add bronzer and everything to it, it actually looks really, really pretty. So highly recommend this if you're looking for a new um, foundation. In fact, next time I wear it, I think I'm gonna mix it with my um, like illuminating base from Sisley. This is so nice under like anything, really. But like I said, I'm just touching up my makeup a little bit. Before we go out, I have no idea what I'm wearing tonight. So I still have to pick that and yeah, just get ready to go out. Very excited for tonight. up I think that looks good now to touch up my hair a little bit this is a trick that I have been using with my Dyson because I don't love having like flat hair I love very voluminous um, hair so what I like to do is I like to grab this attachment which looks like a comb and what I'll do is I will section off my hair flip it to the other side and then I will kind of comb it this way and then I'll obviously do the same for the other side so let me do it and I'll show you it literally gives you the most like voluminous look ever. It's, it's wonderful. So let me do it. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but I love the look. And it gives so voluminous so so nice oh it's truly lovely um and then if i do have any flyaways i will use this guy but i already did it this morning so my hair is looking not too bad maybe some hair oil maybe some hair oil will be needed before i step out the door anyways i'm gonna get dressed i have no idea what i'm wearing and i have to leave in 20 minutes so Go pick something to wear. This is the struggle of being in Canada and having ever changing weather. It is 10 degrees now, but it's gonna go down to about four degrees later on. So I have to dress accordingly and also dress to be comfortable inside a restaurant. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm gonna wear.